Hey, what's up guys? Mindless here for Movados Productions, and today I'll be showing you how to make a motion tracking effect like you um, see in the videos. Uh, I'm talking a bit um, damped because, well, it's it's so long on the late side, people trying to sleep in a few minutes, so I'll try to keep it down. Um, I've just opened up uh, After Effects and I've got a clip from um, some old. Um, a photo motion project I was doing uh, earlier. You can fi find it on my Vimeo account and I think it's also on my YouTube account. Um, but we're gonna use this to um, make a short motion tracking scene as you see in uh, the frag movies. So let's just drag this in. And before I start I just want to uh, have a quick note that this won't really match uh, with the scene as much, it, it, it won't be long in inside of the clip, but this is just an example so you know how to um, make your own. Uh, it's 6 frame, uh, frames per second, so it, it kind of hurries things up. Uh, Apple ProRes 42 high quality, it's, it's an awesome codec, so let's uh, drop it in, get some high quality here. And first thing we're going to do is make a new composition uh, next to this one. Well, you know what? Let's just make a new solid. Let's forget about the uh, new composition. Make it 300 by 300. I sh probably should make it a bit smaller, but who cares? So uh, I, I mostly picked the white and white and red colors for uh, these kind of uh, effects so double click the ellipse tool uh, drag this open get the ellipse tool then double click it to make a perfect circle make sure your composition you uh, your um, solid you've created is square if you didn't do it press command shift y and change it again press ok now we're going to duplicate the mask Set it to subtract, open uh, the bottom one up, and oops, shouldn't touch the feather. And bring down the mask expansion to about 25, not make it 21. Well, somewhere around that. Um, it, it seems a bit big, but we're gonna scale it down uh, later on. So uh, let's duplicate it. Control D or Command D if you're on Mac. Then Control Shift Y and change the color to red and press OK. And then we're just gonna scale it up a bit. So select the layer, press S, and just scale it up a bit, just like that. And we're just gonna keep this one pretty easy because uh, I don't know how long I've been going now. But I want to keep it short, so press Ctrl Shift C or Command Shift C, and I'll call this um, Target. Now we're gonna move a bit forward in our animation and see that we only need to have like a pretty small area. So let's open this one up and select both of them. Press S for the scale and just scale it down. Um, yeah, let's scale them separately now. So there we go. We got a nice little target right here. Place it here. Gonna give it a little, uh, little text. And everything we're going to design now is inside of the um, pre-composition. So let's call this one uh, Dad. Got it my dad. So scale it up a bit. And maybe add another solid. Uh, Control Y, uh, let's deselect that one. Control Y, and uh, make it white. Why not? And uh, scale this down a lot. Let's make this one. Uh, let's open up the scale and drag this one down a bit as well. Maybe a bit too much, um, but but this is really the basic setup. Um, from here, you can just expand onward. Like um, you might want to give this one an extra mask, like like uh, I uh, used in the Legacy Two video. So uh, 
I'll just cut this bit out right here. Oops. Press M and set the third mask to subtract. Let's do the same thing with the white mask uh, solid. And let's see here. Press M again. The layer selected and select subtract with that as well. Um, <clears throat> If you want to rotate, uh, rotate these two layers, you can um, select them both, press R, and uh, just start at the beginning. Give it a rotation, move forward a few, uh, to about the end ish. So, and then we are going to select, uh, now we're going to select, because you got to do these one by one, and open up the wiggler. If you can't find it, it's in window wiggler. This one right here, I got it open. And let's put the magnitude to about 40 would be good. And let's do uh, 22. And then up this bit for the second one. What this does is it adds a lot of keyframes. And these keyframes are just um, movements of the layer. I should have probably. I'm gonna up the magnitude just a bit to about 100. And this one, I'll put this to five, and this to like yeah, pretty much, and then just add some some nice motion blur to it. Uh, select switch here to toggle the buttons. Add these on. So uh, has a bit more uh, of a flow. It's going pretty fast, but this is just basic idea. You can expand this over to like something something huge. Like you can add a lot of elements and it all gets added right here. So we're gonna go back in the composition and this is the frame you want. So we're opening up the target, press P, hit a keyframe, move forward one frame, move it. Uh, depending on your, um, let's just, because this one is ridiculous. Uh, Depending on your um, frame rate, I've got six uh, for this particular clip. But if you got fifty, this will take a lot longer. But this is this is ideal for for this example. And with with people or in-game characters or whatever, you got a manual track, the motion tracker, and this this tracker right here. Well, I, I can show you. So let's just track. Oops. Let's track the motion of this one. And uh, let's say uh, we want to follow my mom right here. So let's put um, this. This bottle of water. It's a pretty good track point. And I don't think if this is going to work, but let's just try it anyways. Uh, start at the start, of course. Events. Your own tutorial. Water bottle. And analyze for it, and it's lost it already. So with, with stuff like this, you gotta, you have to really manual track. So that's what we're going to do. So we got this thing right here, and this is a stop motion uh, video. So wrong layer selected. And I think I'm running out of time pretty soon, but um, I'm almost done with this. So, and this this is really a uh, a patience thing. Um, I'm just guessing where my dad would be. Um, but uh, the key to this is just having patience and uh, don't don't really rely on any automatic stuff like like Mocha for After Effects or. Um, St stuff like that. Um, f for for these kind of things, you really need manual tracking to make it work. Otherwise, um, so I've got a frame there. It's pretty. All right. Um, if if you if you don't use manual tracking in these kind of settings, you are uh, kind of doing it wrong. So let's preview this. And there we have it. Um, remember, the more frames per second this is, the harder this becomes. Because if you turn this up to 50, 
uh, you're doing a lot of tracking. Uh, I'm Martin. See you guys next time.